That's good. That's on. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I guess I just really wanted to make this because I think I'll look back on this later in this point in my life and I will probably want to think about and re-experience how it was like to study for the MCAT. Um, so I guess a couple things. Uh, from pretty much week one to, I don't know which week is it now, um, I've been going through a couple material. I went through the Berkeley Review and it's pretty much a, I went through the physics, um, the general chemistry and the organic chemistry um, portion of the Berkeley Review. Um, I think compared to when I used the Kaplan, I think the Berkeley Review was a really good um, prep book in order to get me really exposed to all the stuff I missed about physics and gen chem and organic chemistry. They had a lot of problems. Um, their explanations are really good and I really thought I learned a lot um, just from going through um, taking notes, making Anki cards, and doing their phase one and phase two, um, which are the practice problems that they have proceeding at each, uh, each section. And that pretty much took me about two months to do. Um, I suffered a lot during that time, um, but I was able to get through, make the Anki cards, and I thought it gave me a really good foundation. Um, for what was to come later on when I start doing UWorld. Uh, during the time also, I pretty much only did one Jack Weston passage a day. Uh, Jack Weston is the free website that you can use to find free cars passages. I just did one a day. I didn't really care about my score. Um, I just did one a day and if I got a good score, that's great. If I didn't get a good score, you know, just keep going on the next day and the next day. Um, I think eventually I kind of steeled myself to not be scared of the low scores and just take it as practice before I actually get to the AMC cars, um, which I hope to get to soon. And a big thing about my prep from week one up until now was Anki. I've done Anki now consecutively for, ooh, I don't know. It's been probably like 300 or 200 something days. And I've done Anki every single day, um, reviewed anything I didn't know from the, the Berkeley review book and everything. Um, I pretty much put it on there, all the questions I put it on there and it's let me really retain a lot of the stuff um, that I would have missed. Um, yeah. And for the biology and biochemistry portion, I actually didn't use any review book. Um, instead, I used the Jack Sparrow deck, the Jack Sparrow Anki deck. It's pretty much a basic, basic Anki deck. It has a lot of basic cards, which is just essentially the, your classic kind of flashcards. Um, and they're really, really comprehensive. Um, there's about 2,000 cards-ish. And I pretty much did that from the month, from the end of December which is when I finished the Berkeley Review all the way up until January, January 31st. Um, I just did 70 basic cards a day. It took a really long time, but I really thought I learned and relearned a lot of a lot of the biology that I may have missed or a lot of the biology I needed refreshing from undergrad. Um, so that was, I thought was, was a really good resource. Um, it takes a lot, a while. And because it is basic cards and not closed cards, which means it's not fill in the blank, um, it takes a really long time to get through, but I thought it was really rewarding to, to use. Also for psychology and sociology, I use the Pankow deck. Um, it's another one of the pre-made Anki decks and all these Anki decks can be found on r slash Anki MCAT, um, which is a subreddit specifically for Anki for the MCAT. And this is one of those psychology and sociology decks that I just chose um, based on the recommendation of the person who made it. And I thought it was a pretty good deck. I did about 30 cards a day starting from October. Um, and I was able to finish it by the end of December. And I thought it gave me a good foundation, just a foundation though for um, what kind of psychology and sociology I needed to expect. Um, but it's not enough. And pretty much where I'll, where 
um, everything came together was when I did U World, and uh, U World is pretty much a question bank. Uh, it has three thousand questions in it, um, encompassing all the MCAT subjects. And wow, U World really, U World really tore me a new one. Um, for U World, I would say Jack Jack Sparrow really prepared me well. Also, TBR also really prepared me well for U World. Um, but U World is absolutely essential. It the, the explanations are just so great and um, the questions that they have, especially for physics, which is my lowest section in UWorld, um, were very, very, very targeted and I really felt like like just doing the problems every day and and really applying my knowledge that I got from all my content review, um, you will really, really expose any sort of content gaps I had. And when there were content gaps that I had, um, they were able to explain it really well. And everything I didn't know, I pretty much just put into a UWorld card or a Anki card. Um, and so now I actually just finished UWorld. I finished up my psychology and sociology um, section of UWorld. I spent three weeks on UWorld starting from February up until up until March, pretty much today. I finished UWorld today. Um, that was three weeks and 90 questions a day. It was pretty tough. Um, but I highly recommend you roll as a resource um, for anyone that's taking the MCAT because it, its ability to like kind of like figure out where your contact gaps are um, is huge. And especially for the psych so session, because um, this I've never taken a psych class or a sociology class before, and you rolled really kind of uh, gave me the gave me another kind of foundation to psychology and sociology, especially sociology that I didn't have um, just from doing the pan count deck. I actually added 2,000 cards just from psychology and sociology in the, of the U-World section. So that's pretty much how much I've been studying up until now. Um, can't wait to uh, see how I feel next week when uh, I'm doing these Anki cards because now I have 2,000 Anki cards I have to do, so.